Hi, this is David. Today I would like to teach you some of the basic swimming techniques and life-saving procedures which can help even untrained swimmers and rescuers improve water safety. Here are some life-saving techniques. Talk, reach, throw, row, go or call. Kids, can you repeat after me? Talk, reach, throw, row, go or call. Never jump into the water to save someone, even if you are an experienced swimmer and trained lifeguard. It's best not to enter into the water to save someone, except as a lost resort. Talk. Talk to a victim first and help them to get to shore. A boat or a side of a pool if they are calm. Reach. Reach out to them with your hand, phone or some other object if they are near to you. While reaching out to them, make sure that you hold on to something or someone stable. Otherwise, there is always a danger of them pulling you in. Do not lean over the water while trying to save them. Throw. Throw a rope at them and try to pull them in. Or throw something at them so that they can hold on to it and float on water until the help comes in. Row. If they are in a lake or ocean far away from you, Throw a floating device or find a boat or raft to save them. Go! Enter into the water and attempt the rescue yourself if there is no other option. Call. Call for help. There is no other option available. 20% of the drowning victims are below the age group of 14. Children who die in shallow waters or near the shore are not having any idea of dog paddling. Today we are going to learn how to do dog paddling and survive when you accidentally fall into the water even though you don't know swimming. Dog paddle. Get into a pool, take a deep breath and roll onto your belly. Cup your hands, move your hands in a circular motion as if digging a small hole under the water. Free kick your legs below water or move your legs like you are paddling a bike. Keep your head above water with your chin on the surface. Keep swimming. Here are few more basic techniques in swimming. Breathing technique. Practice exhaling under water. While you are still in a shallow depth, take a deep breath and put your face under water. Slowly exhale out your nose, then come back up. Floating technique. Get used to floating. Hold on to the side of the pool and let your legs float out behind you. Practice doing this on your stomach and your back. Practice kicking your legs. Whether you're floating on your back or still holding on to the side of the pool, you can practice kicking. At first, all swimmers will move their hands vigorously. As you continue to swim, you will become confident and your hand movements will become smooth. Crawl technique. Learn how to do a crawl. Floating on your stomach, do a flutter kick with your legs and use your arms to crawl forward. Bring one arm out of the water so that it reaches forward. Then bring it back down and use your cupped hand to push the water behind you. Gliding technique. Stand with your back to the pool wall. Bend your knees so that your legs are tucked up toward your chest. Extend your arms out in front of you as you push off from the wall with your feet. Duck down so that you start gliding under the surface of the water. Focus your attention on making your body into the thinnest straight line possible. Swim often and learn new skills. Enjoy swimming.